All right, so today we are in kid badges. Uh, the last badge is kids sites challenge. We are going to make our Google site. Um, it's for a portfolio. So if you're students and you're watching this, let's get started. Um, I'm going to click right here on my Boxo dots or Google apps. And this right here is sites. So I'm going to click on sites. And we are in new Google sites. I'm going to click right here on the left. And in the bottom right hand corner is this plus button down here in the bottom, a big red plus button, create new site. All right, while this is loading up, um, the first thing you do when you get a uh, Google document of any kind, even a Google site, is you name your document. So I'm going to name mine Joe, first name, Camacho, last name, um, and then the word portfolio, P-O-R-T-F-O-L-I-O, portfolio. P-O-R-T-F-O-L-I-O. -O now, I'm going to move down here to the center of the uh, page. And I'm going again to put my first, last name with the word portfolio. All right. So, I have... Uh, titled my homepage. Um, so this gray uh, triangle looking background thing, it's okay. If you hover your mouse over here in this area, you will see change image. That's going to pop up. And I want to use uh, select image. So again, that's change image and select. Um, I have my instructions over here. So I'm going to choose one of these uh, images. I like computers and I like copy. So I'm just going to use this one right here um, and then click select. So I highlight it and then click select. And that changed my header. So down below that, sorry, I'm trying to read my instructions while I do this at the same time. Um, I'm going to double click anywhere here in the bottom below my header. And you'll see this insert wheel. Now, there are a lot of other things. We're going to cover some of these later. But you can insert Google Docs, Google Slides, um, even a map. And anything from your Google Drive. If you have pictures saved in Google Drive, uh, those types of things. But the basics are all right here. Text box, images, those type of things. Um, and yeah, quickly to insert something, you can just double click right here. And for right now, I'm going to select text. And I'm going to type a little bit about myself. You guys can type a little bit more. I'm going to put, hi, my name is Joe. Welcome to my page. I like puppies. Yay. Um, uh, That's just an example. You can tell me about your mom, your dad, your family, if you have dogs, if you have cats, you have brothers and sisters. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself on your web page. Kind of introduce yourself. Maybe tell us what school you're at. Um. I like to have all of my text centered. So this alignment button right here, these bars, this is left. Um, I can go to the right. Um, but the one right here uh, with everything in the center is the one I want to use. I like to have everything lined up in the center. So click on these bars and click on the second one down. Um, and then... This text is really small, 
Let's change it to subheading. A little bit bigger, maybe change it to under text heading. That's a little bit better. All right. And then in this color palette wheel over here, this is kind of hard to find. But on the left hand side, you can click on this color palette wheel and change the color of your text bar. All right. So y'all go ahead and hit pause on this video and make sure everybody's caught up. I'm going to hit pause as well and glance at my instructions. All right. Um, so yeah, we've created our home page. So it's time to add a new page. So in the top right hand corner over here in the top right, you see pages. Okay. Click on pages and then click the plus button right here. This is adding a page. And let me explain to you guys what a portfolio is. This is uh, where you're showing off all of the work that you've done on your laptops or your um, Chromebooks um, or, of course, iPads, whatever device you have. And this doesn't just have to be um, Google stuff. It can be pictures. It can be pictures of work you've, uh, work you've created, like projects you've done. So you're showing off the things that you've done um, this year or uh, in the upcoming year. So this is going to be our math page. So type math and then click done. And that adds a new page. All right. So this header is really boring. We have a white math page. It's just white with blue text. Um, I'm kind of bored with that. So I'm going to click on header type. And then the center one is banner. And that's the perfect size. Large is just too large. The title only was too small. The middle one is just right. And again, we have the gray background that I don't really like, the gray triangles. Click on this little back arrow over here. And then you can change image. All right. I'm going to go back. You see this little arrow right here, right beside large banner. It's pointing that way or maybe that way. Anyway, so change image and then select image. And again, I'm brought to the gallery um, and y'all need to pay attention. Um, whatever, however I set up this header, um, this will be the um, default header for the rest of my pages. So for math, like I want to choose something math-ish, right? Maybe this chart right here. Well, if I do that, I'm about to create some other pages like reading. And this chart won't make any sense for reading. So I'm going to choose something kind of generic. I'll choose these dots right here. And that can apply to all of my pages. So I'm going to click on the uh, highlight the background that I want and then hit select. And now, like I said, this is the default um, header type for the rest of my pages. So let me take a minute. Y'all go ahead and take a minute. Make sure everybody's caught up. All right. Um, so we need to add some more pages. Again, I'm on the pages tab and I'm going to click on the plus button and we're going to do science. And you see that um, our header got created just like the math page, but now we have science. Let's add, click on add page and do social studies. And then we're going to do E-L-A-R, which is English language arts and reading. All right, and I'm about to have to wrap this one up and continue on with another YouTube video. So y'all click below um, on the sites challenge and find my next video, okay?